Uh, well, I'm at the Everything Electric Show with CEO Dan Caesar, and he's going to quickly tell us about the show before I get uh, one of his staff to give me a quick tour. So, Dan, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming along to Everything Electric Australia. Uh, we're actually born out of a YouTube channel, the Fully Charged Show, so we have over a million subscribers worldwide, and we cover electric vehicles of all shapes and sizes and clean energy technology too. And this is actually our 13th expo around wow. the world. We run expos in Australia, Canada, Europe, the UK. We've also run some uh, in the US as well. It's our second time in Australia, our first time at the Sydney showground. And we have loads of car companies, the biggest test drive, uh, EV test drive program in the Southern Hemisphere, and loads of home energy tech, electric bikes, electric commercial vehicles. And it's just supposed to be a fun day out, really, as people get to grips with what it means to switch away from combustion engines to electric technology. Now, I've seen at the different uh, service stations that I drive between Sydney and Canberra, more and more of the uh, EV charging stations pop up. So that must be really gratifying to see. Yeah, it's going really, really fast now. There's actually more, uh, you don't really notice it until you drive an electric off and yeah. you see actually how many charging stations there are, both sort of locally, uh, on route as well. And also Tesla has a, a large supercharger network too. So it's actually much easier to drive electric and live electric than people realize. Before they get in, they think, well, am I, where am I going to charge? Is this really hard? Most people are obviously lucky enough to have driveways can just wake up every day with a full battery. So yeah. I would say it's a lot easier than you might think to make that switch. And also this show is not just EVs, but it's everything electric. So just tell us briefly about the Zero Carbon Kitchen, the e-scooter, the world's first electric surfboard. Just the, I know we're going to get a tour, but just the short version. Well, I mean, the reality is, you know, uh, all technologies can benefit with a little bit, a bit of a power boost, really. Yeah. So we've got actually uh, plant-based cooking on electric induction hob powered by an electric car. Uh, electric surfboards, well, I'm not very good at surfing, but <laughs> I mean, uh, I'd be terrified of doing an electric surfboard. But um, if my experience of electric bikes is anything to go by, actually, you'd be surprised how great an electric bike is uh, by comparison to a normal one, particularly if you're got some hills uh, around about you so most technologies really can benefit from that and obviously in Australia you can power all these things by the sun as well it's yeah. pretty much pretty perfect and you've got all the, the power walls and the home batteries and yeah. it's a lot of auto, like home automation stuff it's all powered by smart home systems which are all can be all be powered by you know electric batteries etc yeah that homes will look really really different I think in 10 15 years time as people kind of adopt things like power walls and solar but actually Australia's kind of ahead of the curve compared to some other countries in that respect already uh, and there's a lot more lot more to, to come we also think beyond batteries beyond solar yes uh, bi-directional charging from cars so the car actually acts as a battery for the house yeah on wheels big, that's big right yeah future. well I heard about that in Japan people yeah. have imported Nissan Leaf so they could do that because the yeah. local ones didn't have it do, are most of the cars able to do that now or, or quite a few yet? of the cars yeah. on display already have bi-directional capability yeah. but more and more will will come through with that but yeah if you come down to the show you can you get lots of advice sure. well it's, it's Friday the 9th of February, so it's still on Saturday the 10th and Sunday the 11th. Yes. And uh, when do you think uh, electric cars are going to be sort of more than 50% of sales? In Australia, I mean, I think if you follow Norway and you look at the adoption curve, I think Australia could be up to sort of 50% of new car sales by the end of the decade. Yeah. We think it's going to really, really go fast now. Um, in Europe, you've got some uh, places like Norway already at 92% of wow. new car sales month on month. Uh, but actually, we think Australia, we think it could be one to watch. And so what's your final message to the viewers and the readers about uh, Everything Electric? Well, Everything Electric Australia is a fantastic event, full of positive energy, and it really is a family event as well. So, you know, come down, bring, bring, bring your kids, and there's lots for them to see and do as well. Well, Dan Caesar, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for joining me on Tech Advice at Life and TNTRadio.life. My pleasure. Thank you very much.